Hey guys, it's Miss T. And um, right now I'm uploading my my week 63 post-up update. <laughs> I'm sick right now, you guys. I'm still recovering. But I had to come on right now because I've been seeing a lot of people going through. And I just want to put a word of encouragement out there to anybody on YT that may be going through this. We have to learn how to be patient with ourselves and our processes. We can't compare our journeys to anyone else's. If you see somebody excelling and succeeding, you don't know what price that person might be paying. You don't know what they might be going through. And that reminds me of something else. Um, you know, this week in class, we had an identity project along with the fact that I'm dealing with identity. I talk about that in my uh, video. Very short. It's very short-lived. Um, but I didn't say in that video how... You know, I feel a certain way and I feel more comfortable in sweats and a t-shirt um, my well, workout clothes that are really, you know, tight fitting than I do in my regular clothing. You know, I guess it's all a part of this process, but I don't want to veer off here because I'm not going to make this about me. I'm coming on to say to somebody out there who may be struggling, do not fall and not get back up. It's okay to fall. Because it's a part of the process. A person who's successful knows that failure, and I've said this before, but in another type of, I phrase it another way. But a person who is truly successful knows that failure is a part of true success. You, It's not about whether you're losing the battle at times. It's about winning the war. I'm going to tell you guys something that I haven't told you guys. I was um, competing in a um, in a biggest loser competition myself and I didn't share with anybody because it was my own thing and I came in second place and I I, I, I didn't I almost I lost to a person I'll say I'll just say those words I lost to a person that had a personal trainer does that make me a loser no because I'm still a winner because my journey goes on and all it did was motivate me and even more than that I'm winning this war you know what I'm saying? If you find yourself having a cookie every now and then, see, I don't want anybody to misinterpret it. You guys gotta understand with these videos, you can only say so much. <coughs> you gotta paraphrase. I remember in one of my videos I said, I had a cookie before a workout, then that's not good. That don't mean I don't have a cookie every now and then when I want it. Does that make you a bad person? No, we need to stop attaching emotions and feelings to our food, you guys. When you get to a point where you eat a thing because you want it, and differentiate it from having it when you're emotional then you've graduated to a new level is it always going to be that way no it's not but you'll still have that new level if that especially if that's what you're going to most of the time does that make sense and what I mean is if you're eating something that you want because you want it most of the time that's okay and I practice the 80 20 rule if I eat correct 80% of the time which I do whether it's throughout the day and I have my one little thing my one little treat that's fine if I have it at the end of the week that's fine however you do it it's fine what I'm saying is we have to stop being so unmerciful with self where we're merciful with others that's not fair you guys that is not fair to you Stop being hard on you. Stop comparing yourself. Stop looking at these people on YouTube and thinking that they're doing everything perfect because they ain't. We're not. Miss T. Lovely ain't. And I, I've always said it since the beginning. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. Yes, my journey is taking different. It's doing different things right now. And I'm having to figure some stuff out. Does that make it any less relevant? No. It's a process. You know what I'm saying? It's just a process. I'm, I'll, with all that that I've said... I'm saying be patient with you because if you really listen to what I say when I say it, that this is for a lifetime. Lifetime. That means until you go on the glory or wherever you're going and you close your eyes. Please be patient with you because stress will make you gain. Amongst the other things, binge eating because you feel a certain way and then being even more sad about it, which leads into depression. Please don't do that to yourself. So I'm saying to you guys, to those of you in my group, to those of you on Facebook, to those of you on YT here, to Miss T Lovely, I'm so, every message that I give is always going to be for me, 
from my heart first. We don't know all the ins and outs and what people are going through. And if we peel back everything, we'd see that they're a lot like us. So don't beat you up, especially if you're encouraging somebody else in that same area. Okay? I'm going to go. I can go on with this all day long. I love y'all. Be encouraged. Don't be hard on you. Progression, not perfection. Okay? Love you.